Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel HRB Embedded and Craft. Today we are learning about Blink Console and IoT application setup in Windows Dashboard and as well as in an Android phone also. It is a very easy method to build some IoT projects on online. Okay, we will move towards a Windows Dashboard of Blink Console not to waste a much of time. Okay friends, we'll move towards a Blink dashboard in a Windows. So here we need to create our own account using a mail ID and password. If you are a new uh, to this Blink, click on a create new account and enter the credentials. So here I have already an account so I can log in easily. For any project, we have to create a template. Hence, click on developer zone and new template and enter the title of your project. Simultaneously, select the device which you are using. Here, I am using ESP8266 and connection type is Wi-Fi. After this, click on save and edit option. Now select data streams and click on new data streams. Using a new data streams, we can enter the electrical parameters to be measured using a virtual pins like V0, V1, V2, V3 and etc. in a program. If the data type is an integer, select an integer or if it is a fraction select double for decimal points as my program and parameters the range has to be selected according to the value which is available for example voltage if the maximum voltage is 230 volts so that we can select a range of 300 and current is a maximum 10 amps so that we can use 10 amps and also in a unit column we can select uh, unit of the electrical parameters so in my program I have entered uh, voltage, current, power, energy, frequency and a power factor by selecting a new data streams at each time for each uh, parameters. Once the data entry is finished for all electrical parameters, click on save and go for the next option. The next setting option is web dashboard. So select web dashboard and click on edit. Select the widget box as you wish for each parameters. Drag and drop each widget on main panel. Go for edit to assign a virtual pin which is already defined in a data streams. The next setting option is an animation. Go for animation, click on edit option, select all parameters to a range control. So if we are using a switches, then select sensor. If we are using a parameters like voltage, current and variables, we can use a range control. After completion of this, go for save. In mobile dashboard, there is an option to download and install Blink app using QR code in your mobile phone. After completion of all template settings, click on devices and new device. Select from the template and which is already available and pop down, select and create the devices. So this will generate blink id and authorized token 
this token and id must be copied and paste it into a arduino program as shown here enter the ssid and password and check for the controller which we are used and select the port and upload the program to the device Once the program is uploaded and the device is connected to the internet, the result can be seen on LCD display and as well as a blink dashboard. Now we will install the Blink app in an Android phone using a QR code. It directly links to a Play Store and select Blink IoT. Once the app is in installed, unlock in the Blink app using the same credentials which is already logged in in the Windows dashboard. Once the Blink app is logging, the same template is appear on the screen. Now go for the developer option and click on the addition of widgets. So presently no widgets is available on the screen. Now click on the widget and add the widgets which is already added as in case of Windows dashboard. The same procedure has to follow here for the Android phone. Once the device is connected to internet, the template goes online and 
the parameter values displayed on the screen. Thank you friends. If you are a new to this channel, please subscribe and put it on a bell icon so that you can get notified for my next videos. Thank you one and all.